I'm making to the service. Right, my mother's just been shot. Keeper's cottage shot. My mother's just been shot. Keeper's cottage shot. Keeper's cottage shot. I don't know whether I'm going to be alive if I go back in there. This is going to be a different a different tone to the rest of our podcast. This is actually more of um, a serious, actual topic rather than just rambling on like we usually do. So yeah, the video, you'll have probably already seen the video, which I don't know when all that. It's probably gone out a couple of weeks before this. We recently vid- visited a place that was absolutely, it was completely different to anywhere else we'd been. Like, not, I mean like vibe-wise. What are you... Your mic, mic. it's below your mouth. Is that a problem? (laughs) Yeah. Well, I don't want it to cover my face. (laughs) It needs to be in front of your mouth. Does it need to be that close? That fucking finger pointing. (laughs) Well, I'm trying to tell him without using words. Sorry. Sign Um, language. Yeah, it was like completely different, like, feel to this place than we'd ever been. The place was named Keeper's Cottage. Uh, It was... Welcome to the podcast. So, hang on a bit. So, because we're shit at this. Yeah, I don't so really want to just dive straight in. The video has already been out of a place that we visited, which was a cottage in the middle of a forest where... It has an interesting story. Yeah, which has an interesting story because the guy that lived there murdered two people in the house. Mm. That is the basics. Yeah, that, now, in the it. video, we didn't know much about... The actual event. But we, we, knew, we knew there was a murder, though. We knew there was a murder. We, we, we found out side. when we were there where it happened, didn't we? Yeah. Um, Ish. But we didn't, like, we didn't know any details. We didn't know why or any of that shit. All we knew was two people got killed there, and that were it. His name was John Lotter. Is he lived at this keeper's cottage, which was a stud puppy farm for a while. In what's a stud puppy farm? A penny? The, is it well, yeah, oh, like the is it, studs. It, stud, a stud dogs like where you you take like your female a, dogs. A to dog get that does a lot of shagging. Yeah, pretty much. Right, okay. You know, um, you, he lived on the farm for forty-five you call me a dog? years. <laughs> and it, it'd been. It says that he'd been handling shotguns since the age of seven. The two women he killed were his girlfriend and his girlfriend's daughter right he first met these two her name was christine lee he first met her 25 years prior to her death yeah when she went to buy a horse for one of her daughters from john right so that was their first meeting she'd gone to this stud puppy farm which obviously had horses as well yeah to go buy a horse from them and the late uh St- the late start of their relationship, despite him living at the stud with his long-term partner, Ms. Wilson. So they started a relationship. So it, oh, I didn't know that. So he was knocking her off while he was with his wife. With, with Ms. Wilson. But she died from cancer in March 2013. Right. And then he moved Christine in with him. So right. he was he, 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 he was cheating on his on Ms. Wilson. So, he, so really, guessing, when you think yeah. about it, it was probably... See, like the stuff that we found out. Like, what if it contradicts stuff? Because we, it was like when we were, when we walked, it was like there was stuff saying that that it wasn't his girlfriend, more like his yeah, like more yeah, of his, um, yeah, like helper. Yeah, there was like, like a helper, helper thing I think going it on. Kind of Cara. turned into that. Yeah, because he was really old, wasn't he? He was like eighty odd. Uh, he, he moved Christine in with him after his wife, Ms. Wilson, died of cancer in 2013. Right. March, if you want to know the month. And then Lucy, who's Christine's daughter, mm. moved in with them shortly afterwards. Right. So he'd moved, after his wife had died, he'd moved these two people in with him. When did his wife die? March 2013. And when did they move in? 
I'm not sure. No, no, sure. It just says he later moved them in. Oh, right, so okay. Could be months, could have been years, I don't know. Yeah. On to the night. It was February the 23rd. Armed police arrived at the farm to find, to find a guard dog dead at the front door along with three other dogs and Christine and Lucy. So there was a guard dog on the front doorstep when the armed police arrived dead. Right. Along with three other dogs and the two women. Right, so we shot four dogs in total oh, and yeah. just two... Put a pile of fucking bodies at the door. No, no, no. No, the guard dog, the was, guard at the dog door. was at the door. He oh, must have been right, there and he shot him and then they found them other bodies right, right, on the right. premises. The court heard that Lowe told officers the women treated me like shit, accusing them of starving him and trying to put him in a home so they could take his land. So right. that's that was basically his excuse, if you will. So he was he was basically saying that he killed them because they were mm. treating him like shit. Yeah. He told one officer they had to be put down. There was nothing else I could do. I have had terrible problems with Christy and they have not let me eat. You see, I read that quote when I was like, and then I later read that he also tried to, like, um, not claim innocence, but tried to, like, justify what he'd done. And I was like, if you're saying things like that, you can't say they <coughs> needed to be put down and then try and claim that you're a nice well, guy. Well, no, we, it was like... He didn't. He, he said too many stupid things. To, yeah. Like in that interview thing we watched, it was like he said that he killed the dogs before he shot them because he didn't want. Yeah, dogs yeah that to be was another thing as well that he shot the dogs before he, he shot did. them. Yeah. So and he said the reason why he shot the dogs was because he didn't want them to be rehomed. So which must mean that it was premeditated murder. Tell him I put four dogs down at Keeper's College. A cane courser and three alitations. They were four dogs I didn't want to leave for anybody else to look after because they were all pushy. If somebody would have got bitten. <coughs> I, I just want him just put underneath there, would he collect the bodies? And also, underneath there's four pet dogs indoors, little dogs, chihuahuas, to be rehomed. He got his dog license taken off him prior to this. For what? And I think he was being doing this illegally. I don't know. What shooting there's, dogs? There's or multiple, breeding dogs? There's more breeding dogs. Right. There's multiple reasons why you can. <laughs> like, shooting don't... dogs illegally, not but, legally. <laughs> right. We'll get onto that. It was only later, after he'd said all that stuff, that he was started to tell the police that the deaths were accidental. So he. So he like, was backtracking. Yeah, basically. And he claimed, he claimed that Christine died after they struggled over his shotgun when he announced to her he was going to put down some of their dogs. So he got the gun out to go kill some dogs, told Christine, she was like, no, they struggled a bit and accidentally pulled trigger, according to what he then backtracked. Mm. But then, prior to that, he'd already said that they were treating him like shit, they weren't feeding him. He then claimed Lucy died after the gun accidentally went off twice. So the daughter of Christine. Yeah. So he said that was, if that cow hadn't gone all mental at me, I wouldn't have gone and pulled the trigger. I didn't mean to pull it. That's him saying it was accidental. That was the, a quote from him. In an interview, he told them that he had tried to shoot himself. Afterwards. I don't know. Well, you, at that age, you you might as well, aren't you? You're gonna go what, to rather than go to prison? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Right, so... I'd do that at my age, never mind. Fucking, Surrey I'll Police. do it at my age. Look you, cunt. <laughs> Surrey Police <laughs> released an audio of the 999 call, which we've we've all seen, haven't we? Yeah. Emergency service. Right, my mother's just been shot. Keepers got in shot. One mile has just been shot. Keepers got in shot. Keepers got in shot. I'm running for my life. G O ten two eight eight. It's just shot my mum, John Lowe. Please get here. I'm going to go back to it. Bye. Oh, I'm freezing. I'm running in and out. I don't know if he's going to shoot me. Okay, it's come off the shot. Yes, get Rafferty. 
I'll try. Get lost and see. I tried to myself going to be alive for the fucking day. This was made by the daughter, by the way. So after her mum had been killed, she ran off. Rang the police mm -hmm. and then which is when ran, the nine 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 call comes yeah, in and then ran back to the house. Yeah. So sh some quotes from her, which she told the operator, she said, "I don't know whether I'm going to be alive if I go back in there." He shot my mum. has since apologised to the family after a number of Lowe's guns were confiscated in March oh, last yeah. year. Yeah, they're giving them back. Yeah, so, and they're giving them so back. He got, he got these guns confiscated for threatening to kill Christine's other That's daughter. That's why he got them confiscated. Oh, my so God. So she had two daughters, right? He threatened to kill Christine's other daughter. I don't know what reason. I don't know what exactly he said. Yeah. But that's why he got his guns confiscated, because he threatened to kill her If you daughter. confiscate someone's guns because... Did I they thought they were to, it yeah, shooting I thought it was, dogs. Yeah, I thought it was something yeah. to do with the dog thing. So if you threaten to kill someone and then you confiscate their guns, why on earth would you give them back? You got re they got returned four months later. Didn't well, they, just, they just said sorry, didn't they? We're really sorry. So, yeah, I think so. This says here, Law's license and guns were taken from him in 2013 after a threat to kill investigation. <laughs> Two officers were held responsible for giving Mr. Law's license and guns back. Mr. Crab, who was dismissed without notice, <laughs> and Mr. Royal, who retired before a hearing could take place. Is that the copper? Th these are the two police people that were responsible PC for giving. PC Crab. <laughs> for these, these are the two people that decided it was a good idea to give Mr. Law his guns back. Right. One of them. This was dismissed without notice, and the other <laughs> retired before a hearing could take place. So they got so away the with both it, basically. basically knew that they'd fucked up and just got out. At this moment, he knew he, he fucked, fucked up. up. An IPCC, which I don't know what the fuck that stands for. Someone Independent like Police Commission or something? Internet Penis Circumcision. This is meant to be serious, is it? It is serious. Yeah. This right, is anyway. the least anyway. amount of jokes we've ever oh, done for oh, this amount of time. Think of Mr. Crab. Um, PC Crab and PC Goyle. <laughs> yeah. They're um, in that Crab and Boyle of Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> crab and Boyle. <laughs> Go, this is Royal. Oh, Goyle. PC Royal. Yeah. Crab and Royal. Are you fucking fuck kidding? Off. Are you kidding? Fuck no. off. Crab and Royal. Is that, is that the same name as the No, it's Potter? Crab and Goyle, but it's near as yeah, Darren. Crab and Royal, yeah. <laughs> That's Maybe ridiculous. I read this off a joke website, I don't know. They arrested, which I could not find shit on this, right? Mrs. Banner is Christine's other daughter. She was arrested at some point, right? I could not find any reason why. She was arrested over uh, as a part of this shit, which I don't have a fucking clue why. I could not find anything. Well, but they they'd been charged for gross misconduct for keeping her. They she was arrested after he'd killed mum and she daughter. She wasn't even there. But yeah, she was arrested and kept in the same cell as John was kept like a couple of nights before. I thought you meant like together. I was oh, say no, 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 no. Like, fucking hell. Like, but she said that. Um, these reports show that I was right all along about my concerns about Syria Police's failings. It is devastating to see your worst fears confirmed in black and white about how those entrusted with the public safety can abuse and neglect their powers. It's, it sounds to me like it's just been a massive police fuck-up. Mm. But he'd, he'd previously been convicted of illegal puppy farming several years ago. How, so do, you, how do you puppy farm illegally? Do you need a licence to farm puppies? Yes, and... 
like having not good enough conditions. Well, for when we went, the the it, I mean, I know we were abandoned, but it didn't look like it was no. ever very nice. And I still can't work out the cage, the monkey the mon- cage. The monkey cage, yeah, it was weird. He had to have had some kind of monkey or. We well, might something. have been breeding horses as well back. Because he was selling horses. I don't know. Oh, well, the case doesn't have all to do with if that. If anyone has got any information on this that they want to... If anyone knows what... Well, actually, not to be fair, it could be any type of cage, couldn't it? So. Well, does anyone know, does anyone know what does type of cage... If everyone knows anything, can you just let us know? <laughs> <laughs> does anyone know what type of cage this is? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I realised no. realize you could put anything in it. Anyway. Anyway. Well, sad right. story. And then... Um, oh, we're still going. Yeah. It says... <laughs> Law dressed in a plaid jacket, shirt and tie with his white hair combed back, grinned and waved at his supporters in the public gallery as he entered the dock. <laughs> his supporters? Who supported him? Football team. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for a minimum of 25 years for the murders and a sentence of 10 years for possessing a firearm with intent to end your life. And I don't know how, but I've got the footage anyway from... The, there's helicopter footage from when the we'll police the, arrived in the morning. We can put the link. We'll put to the, yeah. Uh, we'll put yeah, some links in the description. We'll also, there's also an interview with the daughter that I found on like on local Stacey, news. Stacey yeah. Banner. So I'll put that in the description as well. I've not seen that. Cause that's yeah, it's quite interesting. But because she goes back to the house. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I, I think she, I don't think she goes in it, but she goes back to the house. Yeah. Um. So that's quite interesting. But what what baffles me about it is. I know that this this girl, I can't remember her name now, the daughter that died, Lucy, mm. she ran back to the house after she just... Heard him sh- yeah, shot her mum, yeah. But did she run back because she didn't know if she'd actually been shot? Yeah, or? she ran back to try and help, like, to see if she, like... It did actually what, shot, yeah. she didn't see the shooting, did she? She didn't see, no. Um, so she just ran back as if yeah, to say, like, yeah. oh, I don't know if he's actually done it or what. Because he shot, he, he shot the mum in the living room. Which is the room that we were in. In the chest. Yeah, uh, at point blank range. But then he shot Lucy on, you know those where you found the syringes? Mm. Shot her on the steps yeah. outside. In the back of the head. Yeah. So, she were obviously, she'd maybe <coughs> probably gone in. Seen, run Seen off. what's happened, tried to run off. He's run after her. And he's run after Have her. Have you seen the footage of him surrendering himself? No, I don't know. That's on that, it's the helicopter footage of when the police arrived. Yeah. And you see him walk out of the house into the police car. Shit. And now he's dead. Uh, next week, uh, next week the there, won't of God a, and there won't be a podcast, probably. So In remembrance. Next time there is one, it'll be slightly more happy. No, I like this. Do you like this? Yeah. You're a very uh, morbid person, Alex. <laughs> I prefer when things have order. Ooh. Risky. Right, anyway, thank you for listening. Um, if you do like this sort of podcast, do that. This, this style, rather than our typical shit show style, then please let us know and give us some other things that we can discuss. Send us your research as well, because... You can't put that. I just did. This isn't a devil house. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Al. No, no, it's all right. We're take, done. take care now uh, and uh, go subscribe. Uh, Why is a homophobic? Unsubscribe. Fuck. Why does it say pussy on the desk? <laughs>